friends, I am here with another video and in this video, I will explain about accounting vouchers and its types. Topics to be covered Introduction of accounting voucher Types of accounting vouchers Components of accounting vouchers Accounting vouchers An accounting voucher is a record that acts as a supporting document to the entries recorded in the accounting books. Thus an accounting voucher serves as evidence for a business transaction. Vouchers are normally created to adhere the control of accounting and financial transactions of any organization. They are also called source documents as they help in identifying the source of a transaction. A few examples of vouchers include a bill, invoice, receipt, cash memos, pay in slips, checks, a debit or credit note. Types of voucher. There are two types of voucher. Accounting voucher and supporting vouchers. Accounting voucher is of two types. Cash voucher and non-cash vouchers. Cash voucher includes credit vouchers for cash receipt and debit voucher for cash payments. Supporting vouchers are also have two types outside voucher and inside vouchers. Outside vouchers are prepared by third parties and inside vouchers are prepared by firm itself. What are accounting vouchers? This type of voucher basically analyzes a business transaction from the accounting standpoint and is used for recording purposes. These are commonly prepared by accountants on the basis of supporting vouchers and approved by a different individual. There are different types of voucher in accounting. They are debit or payment voucher, credit or receipt voucher, non-cash or transfer voucher that is journal voucher and supporting voucher. They are further subdivided into two categories, cash and non-cash vouchers. Example of cash types are credit voucher and debit vouchers. Example of non-cash types are debit note, credit note and invoices. Types of accounting vouchers Number 1. Receipt voucher the cash or bank receipts are recorded through a receipt voucher. The receipt voucher is of two types, namely cash receipt voucher and bank receipt voucher. Cash receipt voucher. A cash receipt voucher is prepared for the cash amount received in hand. Bank receipt voucher. The bank receipt vouchers record the receipt of the demand draft or check or any other mode. This implies that the amount is received in the bank instead of cash. Some of the instances when a receipt voucher is prepared are cash sales, customer advances received, receipt of interest, rent, etc. and refund of tax. Number 2. Payment Voucher A payment voucher is used to keep a record of payments made in cash or through the bank. The payment voucher is opposite to the receipt voucher. While receipt voucher poses the inflow of funds, payment voucher depicts the transactions that have an outflow of funds. The focus of preparing payment voucher is to record the cash and bank transactions for payment in an organization. Similar to receipt vouchers, payment vouchers are also of two types bank payment vouchers and cash payment vouchers. Cash payment voucher contains information about cash payment and bank payment voucher contains information about payments made by the bank. The payments in an organization through cash are recorded in a cash payment voucher while those done through demand draft or check are recorded in bank payment voucher. 
Some of the instances when a payment voucher is prepared are payment of expenses such as rent, security, operating expenses, printing and stationery, etc. Payment for purchase of raw material. Number three, journal voucher. Journal vouchers are also known as transfer vouchers or non-cash vouchers. All the transactions that do not involve cash or bank transactions or inflow and outflow of amounts are passed through journal vouchers. They are authentic documentary proof for the financial transaction. For instance, when a goods are sold on credit and there is no immediate cash or bank transaction, the journal voucher is prepared for such a transaction. The debtor is debited with the sales amount and the sales account is credited to pass the accounting entry. For example, in case of credit sales, cash or bank account is not affected. The entry below will be passed, where debtor account is debited and sales on a credit account is credited. Similarly, in case of depreciating fixed assets of the company, here the depreciation account is debited and a fixed asset account is credited. Number 4. Contra Voucher Contra vouchers are used for transactions involving a transfer of cash to cash account or cash to bank account or bank to bank account or bank to cash account. Some of the instances when a contra voucher is prepared are when amount is transferred from cash in hand to petty cash account, cash to cash transfer. Here, petty cash account is debited and cash in hand is credited. Example 2. When cash amount is transferred from cash to bank account. Here bank account is debited and cash account is credited. Example 3. Bank to bank type. When amount is transferred from a standard chartered bank to national bank account. Here national bank account is debited and standard chartered bank is credited. Example 4. Bank to cash type. When amount from bank account is transferred to cash account. Here cash account is debited and bank account is credited. Number 5. Sales Voucher Any sales transaction for the goods and services is passed through a sales voucher. The sales voucher is prepared to record the cash and credit sales performed in the organization. The relevant debtor account is debited and the sales account is credited. The sales voucher is the proof and acts as evidence of the sales transaction for goods and services in the organization. Sales voucher entries should also reflect changes to accounts such as cost of goods sold, inventory and sales tax payable accounts. Some of the instances when a sales voucher is prepared are when you sell something to a customer who pays in cash. Here four accounts are affected. Cash account and COGS account is debited and sales account and inventory account is credited. When you sell something to a customer who pays in cash with sales tax, you must credit your sales tax payable account to reflect the increase in sales tax liability. Here five accounts are affected. Cash account Cash and cost of goods sold account is debited and sales, sales tax and inventory account is credited. When you offer credit to customers, they receive something without paying for it immediately. As a result, you must increase your account receivable account instead of your cash account. Your account receivable account is the total amount of a customer owes you. Later. When the customer does pay, you can reverse the entry and decrease your account's receivable account and increase your cash account. You will also need to increase your sales account to show that your business is bringing in the amount the customer owes. Here account receivable and cost of goods sold account is debited and sales account, sales tax payable and inventory account is credited. Number 6. Purchase Voucher 
परचेज वाउचर रिकॉर्ड द ट्रांजेक्शन ऑफ परचेज ऑफ गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दर्चेज ट्रांजेक्शन मे बी थ्रू कैश और बैंक और ऑन क्रेडिट द रिलेवेंट सप्लायर इज क्रेडिटेड वेन द परचेज हैपन्स ऑन क्रेडिट द परचेज वाउचर इज सपोर्टेड थ्रू सेवरल रिलेवेंट डॉक्यूमेंट्स सच एज परचेज ऑर्डर सप्लायर स्लिप एंड अदर डॉक्यूमेंट्स रेलेवेंट टू द रिक्वायर्ड परचेज नंबर सेवन सपोर्टिंग वाउचर एनी ट्रांजेक्शन दैट हैज बीन अंडरटेकन इन द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इन द पास्ट इज डॉक्यूमेंटेड थ्रू अ सपोर्टिंग वाउचर इट इज रिटर्न डॉक्यूमेंट्री प्रूफ फॉर द पास्ट इवेंट्स इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर एग्जाम्पल टू सपोर्ट द मेन वाउचर Supporting vouchers are attached with the expense bill. Supporting vouchers such as fuel bills can act as proof of the transportation of an employee. Components of voucher. A voucher usually contains the following information: transaction number, transaction date, voucher number voucher type debit account and credit account ledger columns with gl code on name of customer suppliers or party debit and credit amount narrations or particulars column it includes a brief description of the record of the transaction total amount payable in words and figures payment mode approval stamp and signature of accountant and higher authority receiver signature that's all for this video your feedback will be highly appreciated and will help us to improve the content join us in the next video to know about invoices and its uses thanks for watching do not forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon for latest update